are now on our third week of our Learning at Home program for Earth and Life Science and we are now on our second quarter. Before we start with our discussion video, let us have first a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, being the true source of light and wisdom, grant us the grace of understanding, of knowledge, and enlightenment of mind for us to truly understand the lessons which are designed for us by our teachers. With love and compassion, we humbly pray that you will continue to heal our land against this pandemic that we are facing right now. Guide us, O Lord, unworthy as we are. Lord our Father, make us your servant to become servant to others. Make us to become more in love for us to give love to others. And Lord, continue to make us humbly knowledgeable of our chosen expertise that we become share of this knowledge to others. This we ask through your most holy name, together with your begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Jesus, you are my Lord. May happiness lies in you alone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, good day grade 11 students. Before we start with our lesson, I want you to get yourself ready and have your learning packet with you. Now that you are ready, let's start with our lesson with a recap of what we have discussed in our first quarter. In our first quarter, we talk about the different things about our earth. So, we discuss na natin yung different things about mineralogy and petrology, the study of minerals and rocks. We are done with the process of the rock cycle. And then for the second week, we have studied the different things about the history of the earth, the geologic time scale, and the natural hazards, mitigation, and adaptation. Now, we are embarking on a new quarter with a new unit called Perpetuation of Life. We are now studying the life science, the second part of earth and life science subject. For this unit, we have two lessons. We have ways of animal reproduction and genetic engineering. Let's start first with our first lesson. But before that, you must take the pre-assessment on your assessment sheets. Now, let's start this week with our lesson number one, which is all about ways of animal reproduction. You have learned different things about reproduction since you were in grade 5, grade 7, and grade 10. Now, we are going to discuss more about how different animals or representative animals reproduce their own kind. For this lesson, we only have one objective and that is describe the different ways of how representative animals reproduce. Okay, so we will discuss how as aside from humans, how the different animals reproduce their own kind, especially those animals who are with special structures or which structures do not have uh, the similarities with us or other organism. Let us first define the two main types of uh, reproduction. I think you have, I thought uh, you have learned it during your grade 7 science. We only have two main types of reproduction and that and these are sexual and asexual reproduction. Okay? So kung naaalala nyo pa ba, ano ba ang sexual eh ano ba ang asexual reproduction? When we say sexual reproduction, it involves the union of gametes or the egg cell and the sperm cell. Okay? But we, when we say asexual, it does not involve any union of gametes. Which, is, which are the egg cell and sperm cell. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Pag sinabing sexual, merong union ng egg cell from a woman 
and sperm cell from a man or from a female organism and uh, male organism naman yung sperm cell. Well, a sexual reproduction does not involve any of them. Okay? Walang uh, involvement ng both gametes which are the egg cell and the sperm cell. Okay? Now, let us discuss how different animals, except from humans and other primates or other chordates, yung mga may backbone, backbones, paano kaya sila nagre-reproduce? Okay? Using a sexual reproduction. Okay? Kasi nga, uh, mostly, ang pagre-reproduce naman natin ay sexual reproduction sa kanong iba pang organisms. Pero paano naman yung mga organisms wala, na wala namang kakayahan na makapag-produce ng gametes or na egg and sperm cell? So, meron silang iba't ibang kakayahan or paraan para maisagawa pa rin yung pagpaparami. Okay? So, una na nga dyan yung body. Okay? Body, a bad or a small individual organism, grows on a part of an organism. So, look at this picture. So, there is a hydra. Hydra yung tawag sa hayop na yan. So, para siyang uh, kapamilya siya ng jellyfish and corals. So, it is an animal that produces new offspring through the process of budding. Meron siyang tinatawag na bud na tumutubo sa iba't ibang parts ng katawan niya. Yun yung magsisilbing bagong organism or bagong hydra. So for example, eto siya, yung bud. Unti-unti siyang mag-grow into an individual organism. So imagine, kung tayo nagkaroon na kakayahan na mag-budding, susulpot lang sa iba't ibang parte ng katawan natin yung copy ng sarili mo. Okay? So, mostly kasi kung ano yung itsura ng parent nung um, pinakabad is ganun lang din siya kapag lumaki siya. Okay? So, kapag ka enough na yung growth niya, isihiwalay na siya dun sa parent niya and magiging individual organism na siya. And that is what we call as body. Next is the fission. Paano naman nangyayari sa fission? An organism divides itself to form a new individual with approximately its same size. Okay? So, yung isang organism, hahatiin niya yung sarili niya para maging dalawa siya. Okay? So, for example, uh, common yan sa mga bacterial cells. So, yung parent bacteria is mag-a-undergo mag ng mitosis or cell division. So, magiging dalawa na from one organism or from one bacterium, magiging dalawang bacteria. Okay, ganyan din sa mga flatworms. Okay? So, mapuputol yung part, for example, yung kanilang tail, and then, magiging daughter na nila yon, magiging bagong planaria, or magiging bagong flatworm. So, pwede daw approximately its same size. So, pwede makuha niya yung halos uh, kasing sukat niya yung kanyang parent organism. So, imagine niyo yung isang hayo o kaya tayo, ganyan kaya yung way ng ating reproduction. So, hahatiin ko lang yung katawan ko o hahatiin mo lang katawan mo, magiging dalawa na kayo and identical and halos kasing sukat mo siya. Okay? Pero, it will never happen to us because we undergo sexual reproduction. And that is for fission. Okay? So, nakukuha pa ba? Pag sinabing body, may tumusulpot na new organism sa isang katawan and then magiging individual organism. Well, for fission, an organism divides itself to reproduce. Okay? Next one, fragmentation and regeneration. Yes, tigyan. An individual organism will regenerate its broken body part and the amputated part becomes a new organism. Okay? So, magkadugtong kasi yan. For example, sa starfish, okay, pag may naputol na part ng katawan niya, magre-regenerate siya or tutubong muli iyong part na naputol na yon. While yung naputol na part is magiging fragmentation, magiging bagong individual organisms. Imagine, ito yung kanyang uh, arms na tinatawag. Pag naputol yung isa dyan, tutubo ulit. Yung pangalan, amazing na. Nag-regenerate. How about kung itong naputol na part is naging individual starfish pa? Sa so, ganun siya, kaka uh, kakaibang mag-reproduce. So, kailangan niya lang pumutol or maput kailangan lang maputol yung isang bahagi ng katawan niya para dumami yung kanyang lahi. So, for example, yung kamay mo is naputol. Okay, tutubo ulit yung naputol na area o yung kamay mo. Tapos, yung individual kamay mo magkakaroon ng sariling katawan. May okay, ganun siya. 
ganun yung fragmentation. No? Hindi lang sa starfish nakikita, nakikita rin yan sa mga flatworms or sa hydra katulad nung kaninang pinakita ko. Okay, so ganyan sila makapag-reproduce through fragmentation and regeneration. Okay, next one, part na genesis. Okay, occurs in species with limited male organism. Egg cell develops on its own. Okay, uh, karaniwan to sa mga insects, katulad nito mga bees. Pwede rin siya sa whale. Pwede rin siya sa mga lizards actually. Yung mga monitor lizards or yung bubule. Okay, karaniwan yan. Wala sila halos lalaki sa kanilang population. So, paano sila makapag-reproduce? Sarili si ka, kumbaga. Okay? So, sila na, yung nagpo-produce ng sarili nila kahit walang sperm cell, yung egg cell nila is nagde-develop into a clone. Okay? Imagine. Okay? Kung sa tao yan, isang babae, ganyan na kailangan ng isang partner para makapag-reproduce. Imamature niya lang on its own yung kanyang sariling egg cell and then pag nag-mature yun, pwede niyang i-release as new organism. Kaya lang, clone niya, kamukhang kamukha. Kasi sa kanya lang naman din talaga nang galing yun. Okay? So, example niya niyan, yung sa may with tail lizard, yung nakikita natin mga bubule, ganyan, kasama din yan. So, yung mga females lay unfertilized egg that develop in genetically identical females. Okay? So, kapag ka wala talagang lalaki na makakapag-mate sa kanila, is yung kanilang nare-release na egg cell ay magmamature na on its own. Okay? So, maghahantay lang sila ng uh, mapoproduce na lalaki kung magkakaroon man, pero karaniwan kasi limited na talaga So, kailangan nilang mag-fertilize on their own. Okay? Kasama din dyan itong tinatawag nating uh, type of whale na yan or shark, yung pon panet head, hammer head shark. Yung parang hammer yung kanyang, uh, yung kanyang head. So, ang, tawag, ang tinawag nga sa kanya nung nagkaroon siya ng uh, panganak na wala namang uh, involvement of gametes is what we call as virgin birth. Okay? So, nangyayari yan kapag ka, again, walang sperm cell na makapag-fertilize sa my egg cell. So, in result, the egg cell will develop on its own. Now, that's it for our lesson. Again, kapag body, may tumutubong body sa gilid. Kapag fission, na hati lang yung katawan. Kapag regeneration, tutubo muli yung bagong part dun sa naputol. And then yung naputol naman, mag-undergo ng fragmentation which will become new organism. And then part partenogenesis, yun naman yung nag-fertilize on its own without the involvement of a male partner. Okay? So ganon. Ganon kakaiba mag-reproduce yung representative animals na din discuss ko sa inyo. Okay? So imagine if we are on that situation Would you like to undergo one of those reproduction? Gakaroon ka ng clone dahil lang sa isang part ng katawan mo o dahil may tumubong bagong organism sa katawan mo o magpa-fertilize ka on your own? Okay. So, watch on your flash drive. Bizarre animal making rituals. Ito naman, pwede nyo buksan sa inyong flash drive. Panoorin ninyo yung iba't ibang ways kung paano Uh, makipag-meet yung mga animal. So, may mga ritual pa silang ginagawa. Minsan, di ba, mga unakapanood kayo ng mga about sa animals. Yung, for example, meron pang ligawan serye na nangyayari, hindi lang sa tao yon Kasi karaniwan, yung mga animals na mga ganda kulay, yun yung ginagamit nila para i-attract yung kanilang uh, nagugustuhan. For example, yung peacock, yung lalaki talaga yung nag -e effort para ibuha yung kanyang feathers, para may pagmalaki sa kanyang Kamit, o kaya naman, meron din naman na hayop na kapag na-emate niya na or kapag ka nag-intercourse na sila, pinapatay niya yung lalaki. May mga ganun din hayop. Uh, I think sa vision. Okay, so may mga ganyang ritual sa animals. Meron din naman yung sa sawa or sa snake. Isa lang yung babae tapos libo-libo yung uh, makakamit niya. So anong yari? Namamatay yung... Uh, babae after niyang makapag-hatch na ng egg. So, may mga ganyang animal mating rituals. So, if you want to learn about that, you can open the file on your flash drive. Now, it's time for us to take your quiz. Let's check your, how you understand our lesson. Answer activity 2 on your assessment sheets found on your learning packet. 
But kung meron pa kayong uh, uh, tanong about sa ating lesson, you can contact me during our consultation time, Tuesday to Thursday, 1 to 3.30. That's all for this lesson. I hope you learned well about it. And it is all about ways of animal reproduction. Thank you, Ruiz Shans. Happy learning and God bless us all.